Hello, Leo. Welcome to your love reading. Leo, my humblest apologies. There is a lot of road noise today. It is raining here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And as such, that rain is creating a lot of noise outside. So my humblest apologies. I felt it was necessary to keep recording. So we have the three of voices, the lovers, the sun, the ten of swords, ten of voices, six of voices, the nine of materials. We have the hermit, the death card, the ten of emotions, the seven of voices, the six of coins, the two of voices, and the king of emotions. All right. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio or Libra, because we do have the Scorpio Libra card here right in the center. Um, you could have Scorpio or Libra in your chart as well. We have Libra, we have Gemini, we have Leo, we have Virgo, we have Scorpio, we have Taurus, we have Gemini, we have Aquarius, we have Virgo, we have Pisces, we have Aquarius, we have Libra, and little Pixie, we have Aquarius. All right. So, with the Muse of Emotions, um, I'd like to be able to say that this is a card that's moving in a positive way. However, we have the Three of Voices and the Ten of Voices here, which tells me that you and this particular person, Leo, are having uh, a, a not so good sense of communication. Um, with the Three of Voices, Leo, I'm showing a sense of heartbreak here for you. Um, it could be that you and this person are, are at a distance from one another and are not together. That's possible. That may be why we have heartbreak. Um, if you are in a long-term committed relationship, it, it feels like there is a, a massive emotional disconnect here. Something has broken your heart. Now... Um, Leo, all of my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and this is Love, so also Venus. But with this Three of Swords going on in your mind space, it's very hard for you to see the sun through the clouds, right? I mean, here we have the sun, but it's hard to see the sun through the clouds when you're feeling that sense of heartbreak, feeling the sense that you're alone, you're unable to move forward, you don't know what to do. Now, your person has a Ten of Swords, so if there was any kind of heartbreak and difficulty between the two of you in, in the past, this particular person has been able to release that. They've been able to release the struggles, release the heartbreak, release the difficulties. Yes, it's been a battle. Yes, it's, it's made them feel as if their entire life was beaten down on all sides, but they're releasing that energy. Releasing that energy. Now, the king of emotions, we see a range of emotions, right? Which is exactly what we see here. I see a person on this side who has a lot of love for you, Leo. That's also gone through some, 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 you know, mental, emotional struggles, possibly some financial struggles as well. And I see you over here feeling like everything, everything is not moving forward. You have no, what, no idea what to do. So, range of emotions with the King of Cups. I feel like you have a lot of love for this person, Leo, or else you wouldn't have that heartbreak. In the heart space, you have the lovers. The lovers is a need or a desire to make a, make a decision on the love front. Perhaps you're hoping that this person will make a decision on you. Or perhaps you're in need of choosing between two people. When we get the lover's card, it often is a choice between two people. I do see that with the sun card here, that you will gain the insight and the clarity and the enlightenment you need on how to make this decision, especially since you're going into this hermit mode, taking some time to yourself, trying to figure out how to move forward. I feel you're going to be choosing this person on this side. I don't see, I don't see a third party, but the lovers would suggest that perhaps there is one. That you have two people, Leo. Your greatest challenge is ending something with one of the two, though. Ending something in order to move forward. 
Now your person over here, like I said, they're, re they're releasing the mental difficulties. Now they have the Six of Voices. Six of Voices is a card of moving away from difficulties and struggles towards a much more calmer time in their life. And I believe this person wants to resolve something with you in order to move to a, to a much calmer, peaceful connection between the two of you, no matter what stage or phase of this connection you're at. I do see with the nine of materials that this person is very strong and independent. Um, they may appear as if they don't actually need you in their life, but I do see that they want you in their life because they have a lot of love for you. But this is an energy of somebody who's established in their life, feeling successful, feeling you know content in the space that they're in. But yet they have the 10 of cups, so they do have a lot of love for you, which is wonderful. Now, the challenge for them appears to be the Seven of Swords. Notice how both of you have an ending. So perhaps the challenge here is the ending and you deciding between two people with the Lover's card. The challenge for this person may actually be leaving you behind in order to have a new beginning. It's like this person's unable to leave you behind. Unable to let go of the love they have for you. But it looks like, you know, they have the two of swords, so they may have to make a decision as well. Your decision seems to be between two people. Their decision seems to be, do I stay or do I go? Um, if this is a relationship, a long-term established relationship, there may be a focus on some sort of deception that has either occurred on their side or your side. And the struggle is getting past that, getting past something that's happened in the past, releasing it and letting it go. So Leo, you might be dealing with somebody who's holding on to some sort of resentment towards you if you're in a long-term committed relationship and this person's deciding, you know, do I exit or do I stay where I'm at? But for those of you that are at a distance, I see it looks like you're going to be reaching out to this person to connect with them to see if you know they'd like to get together and then they're going to have a decision to make now i see we have the star the star brings healing there may have been healing between this connection while the two of you have been at a distance um, there may have been healing brought to you or brought just to this person and the other may be struggling but now with the king of emotions or the king of cups and the star, there's a sense that somebody's figured out exactly who it is that they love and what exactly is going to be their wish, their hope for the future. So that could be your person or that could be you or that could be both of you. Let me get you an oracle card. Oh, wow. You got three. Wow. It's happening, keep holding the vision. So if you've been waiting for something to happen here, Leo, it's happening, it's happening. All paths lead home. Um, sometimes home is a person. And Leo, with this card of the Three of Swords, you're not alone. This person is still here. This person has a lot of love for you. All right, Leo, I'm gonna leave it there. Love and light to you, I'll see you soon, bye-bye. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.